Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brett Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA flattened the draft lottery odds in 2019. And last season, it introduced the play-in tournament. It's too soon to say for sure, but it sure seems like the league has gone a long way in trying to motivate teams to compete for the playoffs and not for picks. I love it, David. I got to tell you, got to give them a lot of credit. Thank you for that report. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Nurkic is out there with Justice Winslow. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then it's Joe Ingles. And it's Hart in at the two spot. And for Denver, they've got Nikola Jokic. Jamal Murray is out there with Lee. And there's Gordon. And it's Porter in at the three slot. And at this point of the year, what's the main thing you think Brenna head coach has to do to keep his team focused for the second half of the season? Well, again, keeping guys in great physical shape. So a, a balance of playing in the games and getting minutes, but also getting on the practice court, which is interesting after coming out of the pandemic season. Kevin, a lot of teams just didn't find any practice time. And this year, if you get back to the regular season schedule, there's ample time to be on the floor. How do you manage that practice time? And how do you manage to rest for guys, active rest on those days off to be ready for the game? There's Nurkic, Denver able to drain the three. Lee with the steal. Takes the three. Another three for Denver. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Pass to Hart. Poke loose. Lee with the steal. And here we go. Lee. Whoa. That's a rugged play. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help to be a facilitator. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. And you watch Porter. Unbelievable potential. He makes some plays that just leaves you shaking your head. Oh, he launched that one from way outside. And that's now 11 points for Mavic. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Nuggets. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play, really looking to go up tempo tonight. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. And the team has talked, Greg, about having high hopes for Porter. What does he need to do, though, to reach that next level? Yeah, and frankly, more maturity is going to lead to greater consistency. He missed his only season in college, missed his first season in the NBA, and this guy's still making up for lost time. And here in January, a few teams starting to solidify their spots in the power rankings. Others, uh, not, not so much. You look at the Clippers. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think Denver, they continue to obliterate expectations because they found a way to get Josh the most Paul. out of the guys on this roster. Yeah, the vision's one thing, but the timing also helps. Lillard prepared to get the ball to his teammate. Sinks the three-pointer. Lee's got 17 now. Oh, great ball movement there. Lee's gone six to seven so far. Boy, he's making it look easy here, isn't he? Ball's knocked loose. Lee with the steal. A finish. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Winslow with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. And Portland with another turnover here. All right, a chance to check out stats for Anthony Simons. And here's Denver. They're on a 19-3 run. Outside Porter. Lee outside. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his third assist on the night. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the up. He is in a zone. Nine of ten here in the first. He is red hot. It's tipped. It's out of bounds. 
they are saying it was last touch by Lee for the Trailblazers. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Hudson comes in for Joe Ingles. And it's Simons in for Lillard. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. Last time they met was in Portland this season. Yeah, they were just wrecked last time they faced this team. And a lot of it was their own undoing. Yeah, those turnovers were inexcusable. So many of their possessions ended with them giving the ball away. It's one thing to make passes, but you need to pass to your own team, not the other one. Bill Barton, he's checked in for Michael Porter. And the rejection by Cousins. So important for Cousins to continue to develop that defensive awareness. I like to see him showing off some of that shot-blocking ability. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. And Portland making a change here. Little's checked in. Denver on D. Passes it to Bledsoe. Good on the three-point shot. Bledsoe. Uh, Bledsoe knows he's got the green light there to just rise up and shoot it. He did it there. Pass to Lee from outside the arc. Another three for Denver. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Portland's gone two or two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Lee with the steal. And there's the drive. And Lee with the stuff. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Here's Simons. Denver getting their last shot to go. There's Winslow. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. That's a two from Lee, and again it's Denver. Textbook assist there from Will Barton, moving the ball around. Sometimes you just get rewarded like he did there. Poked away to the inside, and he jams it with authority. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive hurt. Barton outside. Naji passes to Lee, and again Denver with the triple. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Tries to keep it alive. Lee with the steal. And now the Nuggets. Last break. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. The Trailblazers have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will retain possession. This time's checked in for Inferni. They get a hand on it. On the floor for Portland. They've got blood cells. Josh Hart out there with Justice Winslow. And it's Eubanks in at the five. And it's Simons missing. The Nuggets leading by 22. Here's Lee outside. Another three for Denver. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. And he dunks it down. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skill to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. Fires the three. Shots good by Lee. Lee's got 48. With the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Oh, and here we go with Lee. Nobody back. The three. And another one falls. Amazing. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. With one on the clock. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The Nuggets on top. They score 11 straight to finish off the period. 
It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Aaron, you all have played at a high level so far. What has worked for you? We're just sticking to the game plan. You know, uh, our coaches really drew up something good for us. You know, they wrote it out, and we're sticking to it, and we're executing very well. Yeah, that's obvious the way you all have played. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Looking at Denver, Kenny, what was your impression? Watching that half, they did a great job in transition. It's so hard to score in the half court when you let the defense set up. So anytime you get a chance, go. You go. Kind of reminds me of me in the day. That's why they call me the Jet. Jack. Get down the court fast as you can. Come on. Jack, how do you think Portland play? First of all, where's the intensity on D? You think when a team is punking you like this, you at least try to put a stop to it. But nope. You keep giving up open looks, letting the league get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. on the scoreboard the second half begins with very different goals for these teams one side trying to mount a comeback one side trying to protect their lead what can you say lee an impressive effort here today well it didn't take him long to get that double double already has it halfway through the game yeah guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet he's doing it here and with the second half upon us We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Well, they say great offense beats great defense. Brett, that never seemed truer than in today's NBA. Now, there's a much stronger connection between a team's offensive rating and their win percentage. And what's been incredible, Kevin, over the past couple of seasons, that we have seen historic offenses. I mean, two years ago, the Dallas Mavericks had the best offense the league had ever seen. And last year, five teams were better than that Mavs team two years ago. So the analytics and the three ball, those have certainly changed the way that teams are attacking and scoring the basketball with the type of efficiency and impact they have in the past couple of seasons. Jamal Murray is out there with Lee. And there's Gordon. And it's Nikola Jokic. And it's Porter. And at the three, the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Denver. That's an attack mindset from Lillard. We know he loves the three. He's fully confident getting inside and has the ability to score there. The shot's good. Gordon's got seven. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. And with Aaron Gordon, we knew about his high-flying acrobatics. Joe but at his age, still seeking more consistency given his talent. He must continue to get better. Here's Murray. Joe Ingles picking up that last basket. The pass to Jokic. Back to Porter. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Shots good by Lee. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Greg, there's no question Gordon has game, especially remembering some of those dunk contests he was in. An impressive athlete, no doubt. And his outside shot has improved. Now he's got to concentrate on scoring more for his team. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. And here are the Trailblazers now. Denver getting their last shot to go. And it's Lee penetrating. And Lee with the stuff. That is not possible. What we just... <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. <laughs> An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And, and this is how you protect and grow Joe the lead Eagles. by making a huge effort Josh on Hall. that end of the floor. 
Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. For Portland, they've gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Lee outside. And yep, another basket. What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply Greg sensational throughout this one. It's out of bounds. They are saying it was last touch by Lee. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. For the Trailblazers. Little comes... On the floor for Portland, Hart is out there with Joe Ingles. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, then it's Damian Lillard, and it's Simons in a two-guard. There's Lee with the three. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Dunn passes to Nurkic. Dunn outside. Tipped away. Lee with the steal. For the finish. And Lee with the stuff. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for Portland. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. That will be their second of six road games for the team. Little, he's checked in for Portland. Up top, Morris. Done covering. Another one goes. Incredible. And there's 80 points. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. This guy right now on another level. Lee with the steal. Here we go. One on one. Launches a three. Yet another bucket. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. The shot. And good. There's another. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, G.A. really taking it to the opposition. Lee with the steal. Another three for Denver. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Denver. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. Now, here's Dunn. He gets it Joe in there. Ingles. 12 points here for Joe Ingles. Well, that's a defensive breakdown. You, you can't let him get that deep. Yeah, how do you let him get a lounge chair down there and be comfortable in the paint like that? Good. That's another bucket. That's 91. An incredible feat. This is just flat out insane. Lee outside. Good. Another from three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Denver. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And once they polish off this one, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Maverick. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. Lee with the steal. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. Let's it go from deep. And again, Denver with the triple. Making every effort to put this game on ice. I love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but 
Veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. For the Nuggets, Green, he's checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Michael Porter. And it's Rivers in for Morris. A different look now for Portland. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lee with the steal. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Denver making a switch. Cousins is checked. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that'll do it, folks. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you next time. Malik Monk. Carmelo Anthony. Anthony Davis. LeBron James.
Welcome to Saturday night with the NBA on 2K Sports. An exciting game on the way. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. And here at the table, two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Chris Weber. Hey, Allie. Thanks, B.A. I mean, Anthony Davis is shining with the Lakers. LeBron said, quote, there's a reason we wanted him here. He's a complete player. All he ever wanted was a chance. And now that he has it, we haven't seen the best of A.D. yet. He is just scratching the surface. Makes you excited, B.A. They make one heck of a tag team. Thanks, Allie. Here are the five for the Lakers. We've got Anthony Davis. Carmelo Anthony out there with LeBron James. Then it's Malik Monk. And it's Westbrook in at the point guard position. And for the Nuggets, we've got Jamal Murray. Michael Porter out there with Aaron Gordon. Then there's Nikola Jokic. And it's Lee in at the two. And these teams both look to operate in the post more than most, Grant. Why is that becoming rarer these days, you think? Well, with modern zone defenses, it's easier to help and catch the ball handler off guard. So today's post scores have to possess vision to be truly effective. Now, here is James. Westbrook can't hit. Here's Lee. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. Yeah, I I'm curious to see which team is able to dictate the pace tonight as well as the style of play. Here's Monk. Here's Anthony. Count it. One for one to start the game. Yeah, we all know Monk likes to shoot, but their great decision. Getting it to the open teammate. Outside Murray. Pass to Lee. Counted from distance. Lee's got six. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Lee's gone two for two so far from three. Here's James. Ooh, LeBron with the slam. And James simply one of the best dunkers in NBA history, I have to say. Highly creative in how he throws it down. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Now a timeout called by Denver. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season is still producing at an MVP level. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Nine points in the game. They're finding every shot they've wanted so far. Perfect three for three start. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body, Grant. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Ball stolen. Here's Lee. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Well, they weren't going to stay perfect forever, but still shooting 80% from the floor to start the game. And it's Monk that time on the assist from James. Oh, you got to love the intelligence of James. He understands the game like few others. I mean, spots the open man with ease. Now a timeout called by Denver. Coming off a win against the Blazers. Let's talk about strong off. Los Angeles has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. The steal. So on the floor for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. LeBron James out there with Anthony Davis. Then there's Taylor Horton Tucker. Then it's Kendrick Nunn. And it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. Here's Lee. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for Denver. They're setting the tone early with their defense. Keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for them. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and turn them into points. Now here's Davis. Not a good performance from him in that loss to Sacramento. Just three to shoot. Here we go. All alone. Here's Lee. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they've needed it, he's been their safety back. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. 
All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said titles won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. Oh, different perspective, Allie. Good stuff. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. And the Lakers call time here. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. I, mean, I, I flat out, I, mean, I, I thought they looked overmatched. I mean, I, I thought they lacked aggressiveness and hard on them. Let's have a look at the early favorites to compete in this year's three-point contest. Many of the top shooters in the league. Most of these guys are going to collect a ton of votes. And if this is who makes the final cut, then it's going to be a year to remember. You look at Lee, he occupies the top spot in voting. We'll very likely see him in the three-point shooting competition. And he might already be the favorite. When he gets in a groove, he's automatic. And we'll keep you posted as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. But that's our current list for the three-point contest. It's going to be a fantastic competition. We've got an endless supply of shooters in this league, and that contest will be heated. Takes it inside. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Ooh, poked away. Now here's Davis. He's guarded closely. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Well, as great as he is, Anthony Davis, his own toughest critic, is not enough to be a star. He wants to leave no stone unturned to be great. Anthony's checked in for Anthony Davis. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. against none here's Lee pure from three point range Lee's got 28 points for the game and Davis a complete player and yet he's still improving Chris as a passer, a scorer and defensively there's always something new fires in the triple <laughs> this is just fun these teams are trading threes back and forth. But these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. You can see why after that sequence. And the basket by Lee. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Oh, they get a hand on it. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. John Howard. Malik Mock. Russell Westbrook. Now, for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. The Nuggets have gone eight for nine here in the second. Here's Lee. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And Chris, during your career, you were one of the game's best on the boards. Talk about traits needed to rebound at a high level. I mean, first thing people talk about is size, but look at look at Russell Westbrook. I mean, he has the instincts, the toughness, the, the, the want to. Uh, any great rebounder, you have to share those traits. There's a minute 40 left to play in the second quarter. He swipes the ball away again. Oh, he's able to anticipate their every move. An absolute pest on the defensive end. Now here's Anthony. 17 points for him. Last game against the Kings in Sacramento. And his free throw numbers tell you a lot about his performance. He was very aggressive. Rejected by Westbrook. Always in a relentless pursuit of the ball. Westbrook is capable of making stand-out defensive plays.
there's a minute 17 left to play in the first half. And again for three. Ooh, you can tell he's feeling it right now. The B.A., he's on fire. The Lakers call timeout. They took the season series against this opponent last year. High-profile games are the best. Eleven left to play in the first half of basketball. The ball's knocked loose. Yet another steal from him. Gotta be careful around him. Man, he's been incredible at coming up with steals. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Monk for three. Hits the trifecta. Monk's got his second bucket on the night. And you can't give Mark any space. More than capable of hurting you from this area. Connects again from distance. He's been on the money from deep. Definitely looking to shoot as much as possible. 44 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Pass to Horton Tucker. And here's Barton. Eight points in his last timeout. Drops in the three. He's got 48. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Oh, that's how you finish? Oh, wow. Throwing it down. That's how you finish with power. And <laughs> that will play over and over again in the highlights. Look at this crowd. They can't believe what they just saw. What fearlessness. That's got to energize his teammates. Pass to Anthony. Can they get it? And it's Lee with the rebound. For three. And again for three. Ooh, you can tell he's feeling it right now. B.A., he's on fire. And so it's Denver just dominating the opposition as they maintain a 36-point advantage. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We'll be right back after this word. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Looking at Denver, Kenny, give us your tip. Credit these guys for coming in with the right game and then patiently executing. Most of their shots are coming to slow the offense. Rarely did they take a bad shot. Good, clean, close pass. And Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? The shooting percentage they allow was through the roof. Coach is absolutely looking to the kids. You need to take some pride on the other end. Just lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. So it's the home team now. Aaron Gordon is out there with Michael Porter. Then there's Jamal Murray. Then there's Nikola Jokic. And it's Lee in at the shooting guard position. That's the five to begin the second half for Michael Malone. Jokic against Davis. And stolen by Jokic. Here's Lee. Oh, connects again. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The B.A., it feels like he can't miss. 
He hails from a small town in Serbia. Jokic played basketball, but also a number of other sports that he credits for his current skill set. Yeah, he says water polo helped with the one-hand passes, and volleyball helped with the tip-ins. And the harness racing, well, who knows? But he was obsessed with it. Here's Monk. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists tonight. Here's Lee. Sends it home from three-point land. Lee's got 11 in the second half. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And that'll be Los Angeles ball as it goes out of bounds. Lakers able to keep the possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And the Lakers looking at who they've got. Anthony Davis is out there with Anthony. Then it's Malik Monk. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Westbrook in at the one. And they're going to have to pay closer attention to him beyond the arc. I mean, he's got two threes in his half, a total of three overall. And the basket by Lee. He's kept the integrity of their offense tonight by moving and cutting and scoring every time they've needed him to. On the take. Boom! He jams it straight down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. To the paint. The three. And good! There's another! What a game from him! 72 points! And he's been simply sensational throughout this one. Inside, here's Anthony. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Well, with as much defensive attention as AD gets, the passing lanes will be open for him, and those are the passes he needs to make. And the basket by Lee. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Hook loose. And we're going to have a jump ball. These last seasons, we've had the privilege of listening to our players when they use their voices. And it's also been amazing to see the NBA work to support them. You know, our players are empowered to stand up for, for what they believe in. I mean, it started with players like Bill Russell, Spencer Haywood, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, that's what our league is about. And, and we know that's a very special thing. Both teams deciding to change it up. A minute 22 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. From deep three-point range, they grab their own miss. For three. And again. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. Another one falls. Amazing. Oh, and there's 80 points. Oh, wow. Just wow. This guy is on another level. Here's James. Knocked away. Another bucket. Wow. And there it is. 82 points. This is a game that he will never forget. I know I won't. Los Angeles has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Here's Lee. Again. What an avalanche. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense. Really taking it to the opposition. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great feeling. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. James passes to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, yeah, it has to be frustrating to catch fire when the game is already over. I mean, this is not the outcome they want. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. And you know they are, sure. I mean, come on, the finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play a small. And the basket by Lee. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. Well, as long as they're hitting like this, how can you blame them? They're on a tear. 
And there's the drive. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. But they've got this lead because he's at the top of his game. He has been the story of it. Tries it from 16. Another one goes. Incredible. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The B.A., it feels like he can't miss. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Jamal, I know you have a takeover mentality. Tonight you were focused on passing early. Can you talk about that? Yeah, easy way in, but play my game at the same time. I just want to make sure we ran the court well, get everybody else going because they've been, they've been hooping. Uh, it's been a great team effort, and you know, tonight I just try to do what I can to get everybody going. Seeing your teammates score is always rewarding. Thanks so much, Jamal. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Weber, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for tuning in to watch the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you later. Thank you.